Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rick, and today we're going to be uh, reviewing, as never before seen on YouTube, a, uh, a new bending stop for steel bending in the forge. Uh, patent pending, assuming uh, somebody else hasn't thought of this uh, before I. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Yeah, first up is the, the bending plate. This is a three-quarter inch thick bending plate with five-eighths drilled holes. And there's a bending die. Uh, there's a circle, five and five-eighths inch. And then there's the bending stop. The bending stop is just a simple uh, five-eighths uh, round, uh, round stock that fits into one of the holes. You have to find the right hole to fit uh, this bending stop uh, to, uh, to help uh, secure the work as you try to bend it around that die. Sometimes an alternative is to use a stop block, and it's got four different size, sizes uh, to choose from, but sometimes that doesn't work either. You're trying to, you know, sort of trial and error to find the right hole and uh, see if you can find one that, uh, that actually fits. But uh, in this case, I couldn't. It was either too tight or too loose, and uh, so I just ended up using the, uh, the stock. Now, the, the problem with this is that if you can't get this thing set up right, uh, your work doesn't uh, hold. It doesn't hold. It doesn't uh, fit close enough. It doesn't keep the uh, material uh, tight around the, uh, you know, the bending die. Now, the alternative is to use like a, a little wedge there, but instead of that, I came up with this new stop clamp invention. At least uh, I've not seen it before, uh, and uh, it's just something that you can clamp on to this bending plate and you can have an infinite amount of adjustment and really secure your work up against the die while you're bending. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about how I built it later, but here I am just uh, churning that 5 8 inch uh, threaded rod and I'm gonna secure this, sorry for the hand, this piece of flat steel and uh, no more slippage. Holds the die in place, holds the material close to the die um, and, uh, and it held it uh, quite, quite nicely, very tightly. Another way of looking at this is uh, sometimes if, uh, you know, in this, in this case, I was uh, putting together, bending some, um, some S-hooks. So I had two different dies here I was working, one and a half inch dies. So uh, this was a, a nice setup. I tried this before and I kept slipping off the die. But here we just, uh, a few little cranks. We set it and forget it, <laughs> you know, like the Ronco commercials. And you bend it all the way and then put the other die in and bend it back. And throughout all this, it's not slipping or falling off. And it even gives you an opportunity to, to bang away and finish up the bend. And then you unloosen it and you can pull it off and there you go. You have a nice S hook. And it works out well. So taking another look at the um, at this uh, at this tool, you've got the stop, which is a little which is a little piece of pipe that fits around uh, the five eight inch uh, threaded rod, and it's welded to a piece of angle. And then there's the um, you know the nut uh, for the five eight rod, and welded to the nut is a three inch inch uh, C clamp. And I just welded it right onto that nut, so I wouldn't have to mess around. I can go quickly and uh, clamp this anywhere I want along that steel plate. And then there's that little uh, arm that you can use to turn the, turn the die. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that little tip was helpful. And uh, you want to help support the channel, please uh, don't, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Uh, we'll be back in here soon. And uh, take care.